Hey, I'm Natalia and I'm going to be talking to you about a business messaging platform app called Pumble that lets your team chat and collaborate for free. This video will show you exactly what Pumble is, how it fits into your everyday work life and why you should use tools such as Pumble. Pumble is a communication and collaboration app and in your everyday work life, it has one purpose, to replace email in your business and internal communications. If you stop using your email inbox to collaborate with your team members and instead start using Pumble, you're a winner. That is the essence of what Pumble does. It can do much more than that, but helping you collaborate with your team members is the most important purpose of Pumble. It's important to be organized and to achieve organization, it's best to use one tool for all your internal communication. If you encourage your entire team to use Pumble for all internal communication, it will take little time to get everyone on the same page, but it will be undoubtedly streamline your communication, save you time and make the team much more efficient. So how does Pumble accomplish this? Well, via a familiar user-friendly interface. There are many more additional features Pumble offers to facilitate communication like channels and can be project-based, individual and group direct messages and threads of conversations, but effectively you're always in a simple chat window. Pumble works on your desktop, web and mobile phone. Okay, let's get you started installing Pumble. On this web page, you can download your Pumble app, install it on your devices and get started. For starters, Pumble has three different types of apps that you can use to have conversations in. The first one works within a web browser. In the web version, you can also do a lot of your account management, but there's also a desktop app that you can install. It's slicker, it's cleaner and faster. You can install the Pumble desktop app on Mac, Windows or Linux and if you're working with a few teams on the desktop app you can have multiple workspaces open at the same time. Then there's also a mobile app for Pumble both Android and iOS. Pumble platforms are connected so you'll have access to the same conversations you have on your desktop or web app. Let's now take a little bit of a tour of the Pumble interface. Here, you're looking at desktop app on a Mac device but the interface is pretty similar on all the platforms. The actual workspace is broken down into a couple of different areas. First of all, the workspace switcher is here. This allows you to jump back and forth between different teams that you might be working in. If you're a freelancer or a subcontractor, you might have several different companies and or several different teams within your organization that you work with, and each one of those can be found here. Next to the workspace switcher are different channels. Each workspace you have might have different channels. Related conversations on an individual project may all be clustered into different channels. And you can make as many or as few channels as you want, but you create them all here. This is where related conversations happen and then beneath that you have your direct messages. Direct messages are a one-on-one -on -one conversation or small group conversation with two or three or five or even seven people in a direct message. You've got a group of people that you're having a conversation with and all of the conversations appear in their feed. And then you have the actual conversation feed here, which looks very similar to the feeds in any other instant messaging app you have. You can incorporate all sorts of assets, videos, images and documents here. Now let's see what is in the drop-down menu here. This is where you can update your profile and do some basic management and your administration for your Pumble channel. Let's take a moment and talk about the search functions within Pumble, which really set it apart and are another key benefit of Pumble. How many times has somebody sent you an important piece of information and you decided to get back to it some other day? So when the day arrives, you start asking yourself, where is that information and how do I find it? With Pumble, there are no worries. Pumble archives all of your conversations and gives you instant access to all conversations you've had in the past via search. Now, if you need to find a reference to a conversation buried in a series of emails, doing so could take a lot of time. Luckily, in contrast, the search options in Pumble are very robust and powerful. For example, if you just want to look for mentions of the word video, just type that in and all the times video was mentioned in your conversations will be brought forward here. Let's take a quick look at the chat interface within Pumble. This is where you'll actually spend most of your time. You can select either a channel in which you basically broadcast your message to everybody in the channel, or you can have specific conversations down here in the direct message area. You just type into the chat box below, hit enter and send off the information. The conversation can then go back and forth. And you can see the little thread in a conversation here. If your teammate is on the desktop, you would see that he or she is there. The online presence status is shown with this green light beside the profile picture. 
When you go offline, the green light will become grey. But when you're on a mobile, the green light will be shown only when you're in the app. When working with team members, knowing who's online and who's not, or who has a do not disturb sign on their green circle is really important. After all, you have to know whether the person's available or not to understand when you might get a reply. Here's how you can indicate your status and presence in Pumble. If you just click here or on your account settings, you have the ability to change your status at any point. You can pause notifications coming your way and tell people, look, I don't want to get any notifications until tomorrow. This way your team will know that you will not be able to help them during the day. Here's what else you can communicate about your availability using Pumble. You can let people know if you're sick or if you're commuting. For example, you can use this one, I'm in a meeting for an hour, and everybody will see it, recognize it, and understand you're in a meeting for the hour. They'll know that you likely won't be able to respond to them for at least an hour. Let's see how Pumble works on mobile. When you enter the app on your phone, you can go into any of the conversations that you've previously had and chat. You have pretty much the exact same function control as you would have on the desktop. There's a lot to Pumble. One of the beauties of using Pumble is that you can use it super efficiently just for simple conversations, but you can also use the more advanced options for more streamlined collaboration. In other words, it's a tool that can grow with you. Thank you for watching. For more great Pumble videos, check out our channel and subscribe.